Seamless repeating patterns and textures that you can use for anything from original designs to characters' clothes to 3D models' UV maps are super easy to make in CSP. No need to set up grids or cut up your design, let CSP solve that for you. Patterns from Elements Your canvas can be any size, but a square is the most practical. If you're going to place existing elements on the pattern, import them from File, Import, Image. The images get automatically converted to image material layers, which means that you can transform them as you wish without losing quality, as compared to normal raster layers. Place the elements to your liking on the canvas and add effects on a new layer. Just stay away from the canvas edges, if anything ends up on it, just erase it. Now the fun begins. Select all the layers that you wish to turn into a pattern. You can leave out the background layer if it's just solid color to make a transparent pattern. With Ctrl-8 select the whole canvas to make sure the pattern is made of the whole canvas size, in case there are empty parts. Go to Layer, Convert Layer. For Type select Image Material Layer. Check Keep Original Layer for Backup. Switch to the Operation Object tool and in the Tool Property palette check Tiling. If you move the layer around, you can see that it's been tiled. Drag it to a position to have the gaps in the center of the canvas. Add the elements to fill that gap. Now again, select the tiled layer and the new fixes, select the whole canvas again just to be sure, and run the layer. Convert layer, image material layer command again. I recommend setting up an auto action for that to save time. With operation object tool selected, check tiling. Move the resulting layer around to check for other gaps to fix. In most cases the pattern is already perfect. You can use it as is or turn it into material by selecting the final layer, going to Edit, Register Material, Image. Hand-drawn patterns. The same process can be used for hand-drawn patterns, like these bubbles. In the first phase one used a spray brush to place the bubbles randomly on a transparent layer while avoiding the canvas edges. After turning the layer into a tiled image layer I filled the gaps on a new layer. Finally, I turned both of them into one image layer and played with blending modes and gradient maps. Textures for 3D objects. Another use of this process is creating textures for 3D objects. Just paint your texture tile, convert the layers into an image material layer, set it to tiling and move it to see the seams. If you want to paint directly on the layer, just right-click it and rasterize. Use normal or blending brushes to fix the seams. Again, convert it into a tiled image layer and move it to check if there are any more seams to fix. If there are, just repeat the previous step. If the texture is seamless, you can export it or register it as material. Geometric patterns. Geometric textures may look complicated, but most of them are just variants of squares or hexagons. For a hexagonal pattern draw a vertical line with straight line tool on a vector layer while holding shift for 90 degrees. Duplicate the layer to an odd number, like 5 or 7, select all of them and align their vertical centers and distribute horizontal centers to canvas to evenly space the lines. Merge them together, duplicate the layer and rotate it by 60 degrees. Duplicate this layer again and flip it horizontally. Merge the three layers with lines together. Now you have a basic hexagonal grid. The design is completely up to you. If you feel lost, set the grid as a reference layer and use the fill bucket tool to color some of the areas on a new layer and a pattern should eventually emerge. Erase parts of the grid that aren't needed. How to make a tile of it. Mark a distinct point and look for where it appears again. Those will be the corners of the tile. Notice that with geometric patterns it's often impossible to make a square tile. You can place guides through the points you marked for easier selection, as tools snap to guides. From the selection, make a mask of the folder with the pattern design. Control click the mask icon to make the selection again, convert the folder into an image layer and tile it. Beware, creating various textures like that is quite addictive and you may not know when to stop. Like in the case of this wooden house for my comic, I think I went a little overboard with the textures and made too many of them.